This superpower will help you quit porn. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. Let me share it with you. If you're struggling with porn use and you have a long-term porn habit, especially if you go back into the screen with frequency, consistency, and any level of intensity, likely your porn use has become what is called a compulsion. A compulsion is a feeling that you need to watch porn. And it might not even be to feel good anymore. It might be not to feel bad. And we know from the science that porn use increases anxiety, depression, brain fog, ADHD-like brain symptoms, inability to focus, more distracted, lack of motivation, and erectile dysfunction. So I want you to know this superpower so you can come out of the screen for once and for all and get into your life so you can rock out the best version. The superpower is one of decision. I know what you're thinking if you're cynical or skeptical. You're thinking, decision lady, Decisions gonna get me out of porn? Well, in fact, it can. We forget the power of decision and we forget how powerful it can be when we make a difficult decision to do something that's pretty big and transformational in our life. And I know I've been dealing with a challenge. Yep, yeah, I'm human too, seem to be constantly dealing with challenges also. I've been dealing with a challenge and you know, I say to myself, okay, you know, I'm not ready to do that. But then the challenge got worse and I'm like, all right, I'm ready to do whatever I need to do to make this challenge go away. So the way that decision goes is it slides on a scale and you might not be ready to 100% commit to leaving porn behind. And you might not have fully decided that it's not good for you or that it's harming you or that it has some destructive forces in your life, you might not be there yet. But for many people, they get there. They get there faster than they think they're going to. That's the nature of a porn compulsion, porn use, or porn addiction, is that it's a downward spiral. It keeps taking you down. And a lot of times, you can't totally see how bad it's getting until it's bad. That's how these things work, is that you can justify it and minimize it and rationalize it until it's so big you can't help but see that it's a problem for you. That's when so many people decide, all right already, I'm done with this thing. But here's the beautiful thing about the superpower of decision. You can decide long before that. And I'm telling you, kudos to the people in my program who are early adopters who say to themselves, I want out of this porn loop before it destroys my life. I want out before my wife leaves me. I want out before my kids won't talk to me. I want out before my girlfriend finds out and doesn't want to be with me. I want out of porn before it ruins my life, not after. That's the power of decision. Let me tell you how to get there. How to get there is the knowledge and the inspiration that I provide here in this channel. When you understand the pull that the hijacker has on your brain and that your brain's chemistry and functioning was changed the first time you consume porn. It was changed so you need it. And every time you went back, you were reinforcing the need for needing it. Yep. That's, that's twisted, but that's the truth. It was reinforcing those neural pathways, making it so that you taught your brain that pleasure and self-soothing is in the screen and that the life that you want to have is not doing it for you. So the way out is to create the life that you love and a life that's so on purpose as your true authentic self that you don't ever want to escape it ever again. And the way that that's done is to get your brain out of survival mode and into thrival mode. No, it's not a word, I made it up, but I think it's perfect. 
survival mode is when your brain's running too fast of a speed and too slow of a speed. It keeps you just surviving, just getting by. So many people tell me, I have a problem with procrastination. I'm like, that's not procrastination, my friend. That's survival mode. You taught yourself to survive and then go into porn. That's been your, your modus operandum for 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years. It's survive, escape. Survive, escape. The opposite of that is thrive. When your brain's in the middle, it can thrive in the mode of calm focus. That's why I'm here, to help you regulate your brain so that you have better self-regulation skills so you can rock out your best life. And the first step is to decide that you deserve it and that your worth, your full potential and the life that you want to lead. And I know it's so tricky for so many people to say, dang it, I'm worth it. And then to invest in the transformational journey that will get you there. But it is a decision to be made. And then once you make the decision, the decisions come in the small decisions every single day to use the tools and the techniques and the strategies that are presented to you to be able to use them. The brain hacks that are in the videos on this channel, all the strategies that are in my programs. Once you know them, you have to use them. I was talking to somebody the other day about their headband. Hello, friend. Yes, it's you I'm talking about. And I said, I look, I pulled it up on my provider's platform. I pulled it up and I'm like, dude, it only works if you put it on your head. You know that, right? Because he hasn't used it at all in the last couple weeks. And he's only used it a couple times in the last couple months. And I'm like, it, it only works if you use it. Pull that thing out, dust it off and start using it. So he committed, he made the decision that by the next time I talk to him in a week, he will have used it five times. The decision comes every single day. Hopefully you've used it. The decision comes every day when you're like, do I do my brain training for five minutes or do I not do it again today? So it's a big decision to commit and then the small decision to do the things that you need to do every single day to create the life that you want. And sometimes that decision is, no, I'm not going into the screen today because it doesn't serve me. Guess what does serve me? Getting outside and working out. I just worked out. It's literally 100 degrees outside. And you probably just heard a thunder boomer just came through because it's so hot and uh, a little thunderstorm's moving through. But it wasn't like, wow, I'm so psyched. Actually, I was psyched to get out there today. But some days I'm not so psyched to get out there. It's my habits. Those are the habits that create the life that I want by being able to stay fit, by getting outside, getting some sun, getting some nature, and getting an awesome workout. Decisions every single day. Decide. Decide that you're worth it to create the life that you want. If you're looking for help on that journey, please reach out to me, drtrishlee.com. My team and I would absolutely love to help you if you're looking for help on the journey. And until next time, control your brain or it'll control you.